end meeting. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're back, 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 back again. Hello, right. IFG. We're back again. <laughs> okay. Where's so Elite sorry talk? about that. Kagawin ko yeah. si Elite Talk. All right. So, to be continued, yeah. Mother Dearest. Okay. Go. Part two. <laughs> Take direct, two, direct take two. Paalisin na yung, paalisin yung mga PA. Direct. Ito na, ito na direct. Ready na. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. The the live, the first live ended, okay? We apologize for uh, what they call that, the inconvenience, okay? So, yeah, we're going to be continuing this again. Please do um, call your friends, okay, to watch our live again tonight, okay? So wait, let me just reshare this one. Back to you, Mama D. Back to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So sorry about that. Okay, hold on. All right. Oh, wala si Mama Genji. Ayan nandun si Mama Genji. All right. Kita okay. host ko na kayo ha. <laughs> yes, go. Okay, let me just reshare this one, guys. Okay. All yeah. right. <clears throat> Okay, so where were we? What were we talking about again earlier before um before the live was interrupted? Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, we're going to be <laughs> Sir Manuel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, one one more example. Okay, yeah. We're going to be doing one more. Hello, Michelle, anak. Sorry, guys. Ha, medyo nag-end yung first live natin. So this is now a two-part video. Take two, sabi ni Direk. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Sorry naman po. Back to you na talaga, Mama D. Ha? Well, ako may... Sinisisi ako ni Lowell. Lowell, ha? <laughs> <laughs> anak, nagutom lang yung ate Manuel mo. Ikaw naman. All right, guys. <clears throat> okay, so let me just share the video again. All right, so yeah. We're going to go to another example. Okay. Okay, we're going to go to another example of idea generation exercise, okay? Okay. All right, let me just share this one again. Guys, please re-tag your friends, okay? Those who tag their friends to invite them on our discussion, pakiritag sila dito sa new video natin, okay? All right. Okay, and then let me just share this one too. Elite Intellect again. Okay. Asa ka ba Elite Intellect? Nawawala ka. Ito. Okay, there it is. All right. Okay, guys. All right. So let's go for the second example of idea generation. Okay. So before our live was interrupted earlier, we are doing the idea generation exercise. Okay. What you can do about this one is um, uh, this one is advisable if you find yourself if you find yourself, uh, what do you call this? If you find it quite difficult for you to generate ideas on the exam, okay? So you may do the idea generation exercise, okay? So before our live ended earlier, um, our example is, okay, um, an activity at night, aromatherapy, right? I love aromatherapy baths, okay? For me, it's calming, relaxing, and also I can spend quality time, okay? So I will be doing this more. And the example of scents that I do love are lavender, black spruce, and of course, especially on bath bomb forms. Okay, so another example. Let's do another example for this one. Okay, so let's say um, the question is, Okay. <clears throat> okay, let's say the, the question, guys, is an item you buy at open markets. Okay, halimbawa, ito ang tanong, mga anak. Okay, an item that you buy at open markets, okay? So if I go to open markets, I do love buying fresh produce, right? So I'm going to be writing down fresh produce, okay? Fresh produce, okay? Or vegetable or a vegetable, okay? Or if you would want to be specific, okay? Let's say if when I go to an open market, I love buying 
lettuce. Okay, I love buying lettuce when I go to an open market. Okay, there you go. And then why do I love buying this on an open market in an at an open market? Because it's organic. Okay, and then it supports the local farmers. Okay, there we go. As well as what else? Okay, apart from that, guys, no, uh, it's much more, it's cheaper, right? It's cheaper when you buy. Okay, it's affordable when you buy at open markets. Okay, a poor bubble. Okay, and then if you would want to be more specific about this one, okay, you can, uh, let's say you did not say lettuce, okay? In the beginning, you just said fresh produce, okay? So, ano yung mga binibili mo, okay? So, I love buying lettuce, okay? Beetroots, okay? What else? Another thing that I love buying at the local market when it comes to fresh produce are, uh, what do you call this? Cassava, okay? Okay, there you go. So look at that. If I will be asked the question, what are what is an item that you love buying in open markets? Okay, so I'm going to say fresh produce like lettuce because it's much more organic and it's uh, as well as of course it's supporting the local farmers who are uh, working hard for them to generate for income for their family. Apart from that, the prices are much more comp uh, uh, much more affordable as compared to the local malls when people buy things in the open market. Well, apart from the lettuce. I also love buying beetroots, okay, <clears throat> cassava, kale, yung mga ganyan, wow, taray, may kale sa local market, di ba? Sa atin sa Pilipinas, talbos ng kamote lang yon at saka kuang-kuang. <laughs> talbos ng kamote, kangkong, fetchay, yung mga ganyan, di ba? Yan yung mga binibili natin sa open markets, di ba? Okay, one more example <clears throat> before we go to your part two. Okay, let's say you were asked um, a painter. Mm, diba? Okay, so let's say you were asked a painter that you like. Okay, so for me, I'm going to be writing down, um, of course, my favorite painter of all, of all time, Gustav Klimt. Okay, I love Gustav Klimt. He is an Austrian painter. Okay, he is also an impressionist. Okay, and his medium is finger painting. Okay. The work, uh, the work that I love, okay, is um, the woman and the bird. Okay, the face and the shadow. Okay, so look at that, Deva. Right? So these will be my supplementing details for my answer, okay? A painter that I like would be Gustav Klimt, who is an Austrian painter, and his styles would be Impressionism. He is known to be a finger painter with surreal different types of inspirations when it comes to his artwork. Well, what caught my attention with his work is that the rugged edges of his artworks are known for to be unique, as well as, of course, not quintessential, uh, not, quite, not quintessential beautiful or not idealistically beautiful when it comes to the painting. The, his works that I love would be The Woman and the Bird in 1942, The Face in 1912, and The Shadow in 1904. Okay, so look at that, Deba. Right? You were able to detail on the painter that you like. Okay. All right, guys. So yeah, this is the idea generation exercise. Okay. You may do this for you to come up with answers if you find it quite difficult. Okay. To come up with answers. Okay. Now let's do this with participation this time. Okay. All right. So I want you to tell me 
your favorite body of water in your area. Okay, what is your favorite body of water near your area? Favorite body of water near your area? Favorite body of water near my area is the canal. <laughs> Diba? The, the lubak, the futik, yung mga ganyan. Okay, what is your favorite body of water near your area? Okay, so the beach, right? Okay. All right. So if you love going to the beach now, I want you to tell me why, okay? Why do you like going to that body of water near your area? Okay? So guys, no, when you are, okay, when you are giving answers, okay, you may arrange it this way. Okay, Magat Dam, biggest dam in Asia tourist destination surrounded by rolling hills. So that's good. Okay, waterfalls. Uy, Martina, saan yung sa inyo? Okay. All right, so you may arrange it this way, guys. Okay, so let's say you're going to be giving your specific answer first. Okay. Okay, para masagot mo ng tama. Your specific answer. Okay, that's the first thing that you're going to be stating, okay, to your, to your listener. And then after that, you're going to explain the reason, okay, or you're going to answer the question why. Okay, what else? If... If there are details, okay, that you would want to say more about your specific answer. Okay, so you can do that too. All right, so what else are Joseph? Okay, so you can give examples here on the end part. Okay, you can give examples here on the end part for your specific answer. Okay, that's a good way for you guys to arrange your answers. Okay, look at that. All right, so it's easier, diba? Right? Okay, so kanina I asked you what is your favorite body of water. You said Magat Dam. It is the biggest dam in Asia. Tourist destination surrounded by rolling hills. Okay, and some people said the beach. Okay, or waterfalls. Deva. So look at that. Deva. When you are doing the idea generation exercise, believe me, guys, you're not going to be running out of ideas on the test. Okay, Claire, Kerry, Claro Bunga, guys. Okay, so let's now move on to the speaking part two. Okay. Okay, ito na. Ang pinakahihintay ng lahat. Sir Joseph, how can I survive the speaking part two? Okay, let me teach you how you will be able to survive and arrange your answers here on the speaking part two. After this, believe me, you will be surprised on what you will be capable of doing for your speaking part two, okay? All right, guys, so the first thing that you have to remember when it comes to the speaking part two, guys, is you will be given one minute preparation time. Okay, so... On your extra sheet of paper on the test, okay, sa exam, bibigyan kayo ng extra sheet of paper or look at your candidate, uh, candidate information paper. There is a blank space there, okay? So what you should do here on the one minute to prepare is for you to outline, okay? Mag-outline kayo. Ako, I tell my students to visually separate the ideas for the speaking part two, okay? Ganito. For you to visually separate it, I want you to draw a cross like that. Okay? And then inside the quadrants of the cross, you're going to be drawing, uh, you're going to be writing down numbers. Okay? So number one, number two, number three, and number four. Okay? This is visual separation of the questions. Okay? On the topmost part, you're going to be writing down the general topic of the question. Okay? Okay? Again, on the topmost part of the cross, you're going to be writing down the general topic of the question. And then this quadrant would be for question one, 
This quadrant would be for question two. This would be for question three. And that would be for question four. Sir Joseph, why do I need to do that on the exam? Because most likely on the test, mga anak, tandaan nyo, sometimes your examiner takes the question card away from you. Di ba? They're going to be taking the taking the question card. So if you don't have a clear outline about the topic, then of course you might actually get lost on the test. Okay? So be careful with that, mga anak. Okay? On the examination, you may outline first this way to visually separate. Okay? Sir, why the numbering? Why do I need to do the numbering? Okay, I'll tell you the reason why. Okay? All right. So first things first, guys, is on the part two, you would need to talk for two full minutes. Okay, four, two, full minutes, okay? On the part two, you would need to talk for two full minutes, okay? So, sir, um, is it okay for me to have an interrupted flow here? No. Okay, on the two minutes time, guys, avoid interruptions, okay? So, two minutes time po, please try to avoid interruptions as much as you can. Okay, because when you're pausing here, believe me, you will not be getting the target score. Okay, all right. So what else? Finish the two minutes to talk. Okay, hindi po pweding one minute and thirty seconds lang. Hindi po pweding one minute kailang nagsasalita. You would need to finish the two minutes to talk. Okay. Now, some people they say. Um, you don't have to answer all the bullet points. There are just guide questions for you to get to the last bullet point. Okay, I somehow agree on that. However, guys, it's impossible for you to get to the last bullet point if you're not going to be talking about the first, second, third, and fourth bullet. Okay? Again, they are not just there to be accessories. Okay? Those bullet points on the questions, you would need to answer them. I always tell my students for you to answer all of those questions so as to ensure that you are talking for two full minutes. I mean, kung last bullet lang pala yung importante, sana isang bullet point na lang ang inilagay sa exam. So it's pretty much useful, guys, for you to speak. Okay? For you to speak about all the bullet points of the question. And as I always tell my students, apart from answering all the bullet questions, Okay, apart from answering all the bullet questions, another thing that I tell my students is to arrange your answers chronologically. Okay. Uh, sir, paano yung chronologically? Kaya nga pinanumberan ko sa inyo, di ba? Look at that. May number one, two, three, and four. Right? For you to know, okay, what, who is that? Okay, so who is that muna tayo? What did that person do? Okay, do naman tayo. Di ba? What are the things that you think are admirable with this person? Do naman tayo. Do you see yourself becoming like that person in the future? Do naman tayo. So try to arrange it as much as you can. Okay? Answer your questions chronologically and... Okay, ito, 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 ito. Some students are guilty of this. Okay? When they are on the part two, they tend to do this. Okay? Do not, I repeat, go back to previous bullet points. Okay? Kasi yung iba, halimbawa, two minutes na. Okay? Two minutes na. Uh, wala pang two minutes. Nando na sila sa fourth bullet point per se. Okay? And then what they're going to do is they're going to be cheeky and smart and go back to the first bullet point, and then go back to the second bullet point and say the things over and over again, mga anak, that would be affecting your grade. Okay? So later on, after nito, ituturo ko sa inyo yung magic flow of the part two. Do you want to learn about that, the magic flow of the part two? Who wants to learn about the magic flow of the part two or the hack? Okay? For you to uh, speak for two full minutes effortlessly. Meron ba? Meron gusto matutunan yan? Kung gusto po, please type 1. Ayun na naman tayo. So please type 1 eh. Di ba? Vani, yes po. Okay. All right. What about on Facebook? Meron bang gustong matutunan yan? Okay, good. All right, guys. So I will be teaching you 
the hacks. Okay? Ito na. Ako, this magical technique, when I taught this to my students, it be- the, the part two became effortless to them. No? Naging super effortless ng pag-detail for two full minutes when I taught them this. Okay? But before that, mga anak, wait lang. Meron lang ako as announcement ulit. Okay? Mabilis lang to. Just listen carefully sa mga humabul po. <laughs> okay. All right, so guys, last week, guys, remember that we have opened our award-winning program, which is Elite Focus. We have accepted students for the new batch of Elite Focus. So we have filled the Elite Focus slots with 20 students now, okay? And then we are opening 10 more slots for Elite Focus. We are accepting 10 enrollees for the Elite Focus program. Okay? So sa mga hindi po nakakaalam, ano ba ang Elite Focus? This is a program with which we don't just accept students. No? We don't just accept students. This is only for the students who are serious when it comes to working to their towards their IELTS goals. No? So meron mga estudyante na nagahabol pa yata sa Elite Focus. So we're going to be opening 10 more slots to make it a total of 30 students for this batch of Elite Focus. Okay? Sir Joseph, what is Elite Focus? Okay? So here, Okay, Elite Focus is a review program that will help you focus on your weaknesses. Okay, kasi dito mga anak, hinihintay muna namin matapos yung batch na yan. Halimbawa, tumanggap kami ngayon ng 30, kailangan matapos muna yung batch na yan bago kami mag-open ulit ng program na Elite Focus. So if you would want to be a part of Elite Focus and you're serious to work on your weaknesses, then this program is for you. Okay, so what is Elite Focus? It is an IELTS review program designed to help the students focus on their weaknesses on the exam. It is a limited review with no expiration, free materials, book and writing compilation, live and recorded classes for more flexible schedules. And we have two uh, um, next week the, the regular classes will be uh, 1 p.m. PhD and 11 p.m. PhD. So two flexible schedules for those who are international students plus the recorded discussions. This is 100 hours of one-on-one speaking and writing and coaching. Okay? Kaya maraming gustong gusto ang elite focus because this is 100 hours of one-on-one speaking on uh, on writing and uh, uh, on writing and speaking. Okay? 20 hours of assessment with the master lecturer, which is me. So when we say 20 hours, that is equivalent to 20 sessions with me, okay, that I am assessing your capability here at Elite Focus. And then once your batch is finished, that's the time na po pwede ka nang mag-exam, okay? One-on-one sessions on grammar, vocabulary, and pronunciation as well. That is why this program is award-winning since 2020. Now, we are opening 10 more slots. So if you are interested to be a part of this batch of Elite Focus, no? Okay, <clears throat> for IFNG viewers, if you're watching this right now on our live at IFNG, you're only going to be paying 4,999 instead of 7,500. My discount kayo na 2,500. But if you're going to be enrolling as three students and above, okay, you're only going to be paying 3,999 instead of 7,500. So we have 10 open slots for Elite Focus. Just send a message to our Facebook page. Just search on Facebook Elite Intellect 9.0 or you may open the chat box right there here at Zoom. You're going to see the link of Elite Intellect and for those of you on Facebook, Genji Jimenez and Kyle Jello Gael has sent the link right there of our um, of our Facebook page so that you may inquire for Elite Focus. So ang gamitin nyo lang po na code for Elite Focus is IFNG Focus. Okay? IFNG Focus. Mga anak, kung gusto nyo humabaw sa Elite Focus, we have 10 open slots for the students who will be a part of this batch of Elite Focus kasi mag-uumpisa ng magtrabaho ang Elite Focus this week. Okay, so see you guys in class very soon for those of you who will be a part of Elite Focus program. Okay, so just do send a message to our Facebook page right there. Okay, so let me now teach you the magic tricks. Okay, ito na. Okay, so I call it a hack. Okay, this is a hack when it comes to the part two. Okay, so, Sir Joseph, what is uh, the technique? Okay, here, let's follow the flow, okay? This is the detailing flow of your part two. Okay, now, 
what I would want you guys to remember here for this part is to try to avoid overrated intros. Okay, I am so sorry if some of you are doing this. Mona, okay, avoid overrated. Intros. Okay. Oops. What is that? Okay. Wait. Let me just check. All right, guys. I would want you to avoid overrated intros. Sir Joseph, what are overrated intros? Ito. Okay. Um, I was asked to talk about. Okay. The topic I was asked to talk about. Okay, avoid this one. Okay, what else? When I saw the question card, I felt something. Okay, when I saw the question card. Okay, so guys, try to avoid this one, okay? Try to avoid this on the exam, okay? Sir, why why don't you want us to say overrated intros? First things first, mga anak, is, okay, they're overrated, okay? Take given, they're overrated. Second is, it's actually quite obvious that you're thinking or you're buying yourself some time to think, okay? So try to avoid overrated intros. Don't say this, okay? In the beginning, I'd rather you go direct to the point kaysa mag-overrated intro kayo sa speaking examination part two. Okay, now, step one. Okay, instead of an overrated intro, what I always tell my students is for you to make a background statement, okay? Make a short background statement about the topic, okay? You may make a short background statement about the topic kesa mag-overrated introduction ka. Okay, let's say the general topic is a book, okay? So books are pretty much helpful over... Uh, over time, because of the development of technology, books are no longer as available as before because of um, the, 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 what do you call this? The, the, the internet versions of them. Okay, so you're making a background statement for that. Kesa yung mag-overrated. I was asked to talk about a book. When I saw the question card, I felt happy because I am a type of person who loves books. Yung mga ganyan, they're too overrated. Okay, so try to avoid that. Okay, after Making a short background statement about the topic. Step two is for you to talk about the first bullet point. Okay. BP is bullet point, guys. Okay? Talk about the first bullet point. Okay? Now, when you're talking about the first bullet point, guys, iklian lang. Okay? Make sure that your delivery for the first bullet point is just short. Okay? Because uh, you don't want to run out of time and you're still on the first bullet. Okay? So short lang. And then, step three, you're going to talk about the second bullet point of the question, and this one is still short, okay? Maikli lang din. Mga one to two sentences, mga anak, would be enough for your, uh, what do you call this, bullet points, okay? For your delivery, okay? And then, look at this one. This is, this is, these are the game changers, okay? Step four, okay? You're going to talk about the third bullet point, okay? And here, guys, you're going to talk somehow, okay? You're going to talk longer here, okay? So when we say talk longer, mga anak, you can tell a short related story, okay? You can tell a short related story to the topic, okay? Kung meron kang interesting na short story that you have experienced or encountered about the topic, tell a short one here. 
Maikli lang. Okay? Just a short story here on this part. Okay? And then, okay, remember that the last bullet point is the most important bullet point of all. So you're going to talk about... Okay, the last bullet point. Okay, so you're going to talk the longest here. Okay, and you may tell a long related story. Okay, on the last bullet point. Okay, so you're going to tell a long related story on the last bullet point. Make sure that here on the last bullet point, mga anak, no? You have to remember this is the most important bullet point of all. Okay? Ito ang pinaka-importanteng bullet point sa lahat. Okay? Kailangan on your two minutes time, mga anak, you are already here on the last bullet point. Maybe one minute and uh, one minute and 30 seconds, pwede ka nang lumipat sa bullet point. Sino ba yung nag-aangry dyan? Yung nag-aangry, kung wala kang magawa, matulog ka na lang. Diba? Kung wala kang magawang matino sa buhay mo, matulog ka na lang. God bless you, anak. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So you may go back to the last bullet point. Okay? Uh, on the last, don't go back pala on the other bullet points. Okay? You have to talk the longest on the last bullet point. Okay? Mamaya ka sa akin, makikita ko yung pangalan mo pag chinek back ko to. Yung nag-aangry dyan, mamaya ka sa akin. Okay? Alright. <clears throat> so, that's what you can do. Okay? That's what you can do on the part two. Instead of trying to beat around the bush, okay, or instead of trying to say details which are very much unpopular or instead of repeating details here, okay, you can do this. Okay? Tandaan nyo, mga anak, the part two is a tell a, uh, you on the part two you would need to tell a story okay instead of saying oh it's an it's a it's a task card ganyan it's a task card so kailangan ko magsalita ng 2 minutes don't see it that way mga anak what you can do is you can think of it this way tell a story tell a story on your part two okay tell a story on your part two okay so let's say <clears throat> you are asked this question okay um, what is a book that you love, Kemi Kemi? And then you're already on the third bullet, okay? Let's say the third question is, uh, why are you interested with that book, okay? Well, it really caught my attention because it depicts a lot of information about the culture of the Filipinos before considering their forebears. I remember a time I was in the library and I saw the cover of this book. It immediately caught my eye and I opened it and was able to study what this book is about. I was able to open my understanding on why the culture of the Philippines is like that. Okay, so do you see yourself reading things like this in the future? Well, indeed. In the future, I would be reading other things that are related to the culture of the country in a way that it taught me, it teaches me a lot of details about the forbearance of my culture. Well, here in the Philippines, being hospitable is something that is quite noticed by other races. Because here, when you come to a person's home, people could actually welcome you with food or drinks any time of the day. And that is one thing that that book actually taught me. So yeah, in the future, maybe I would decide to buy more books like this one. And yung mga ganyan, nagkikwento ka na. Ay, carry lang anak, joke lang. <laughs> joke lang, nak meli ko naman. Joke lang yun, joke lang yun. <laughs> Arot lang. Okay. So yeah, okay. All right, so yeah, you can do that. Okay, you can do that on the exam all right so instead of what they call this instead of saying a lot of things diba sir paano ba ang maling delivery sa part 2 okay ito ha pakinggan niyo sorry anak kung ganito ka mag deliver sa part 2 as your mama it's my it's 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 my obligation to tell you okay part 2 ganito mag deliver i was asked to talk about a book and when i saw the question card i felt happy because i am the type of person who loves books um, the book that I will be talking about is, look at that! Yung first 15 seconds is about pala 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 bukonda exam. Diba? I was asked to talk about a book 
And when I saw the question card, I felt happy because I love reading books. The book that I would like to talk about is C. Anak. Okay? On the exam, wag pong ganon. Okay? Just say a background statement about books. Okay? Books have been helpful to teach people information as well as, of course, they have been effective tools for people to learn different new techniques. Well, a book which caught my attention is Okay, or a book that which caught my attention was, okay, the book by Kemerot Bambam, Chenilin Boom Boom Kylie Kylie Minog Saison, Saison Balot Nunez Charot, right? Okay, so look at that. Look at the difference, okay? Look at the difference when you're palapalabok in the beginning and when you're going direct to the point with just a background statement. You decide which one would you be on the exam. Would you want to be... A, the palapalabok one, or B, the one which is precise and direct to the point. I'll let you choose. A or B, which one would you be on the exam, mga anak? Come on, come on, come on. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Tumahol yung aso na ba? Kaka, if you're happy and you know, you want to be the B, right? You want to be the the the, the second option because it sounds what do you call this more? What do you call this? It sounds more um, cred um, not credible, but it sounds more adroit, de ba? As compared to yung kung ano ano yung sinasabi. Okay, and one last thing, guys, before we go to our message for the day, um, guys, do not speak fast on the part two. Okay, wag kayong magmamadale sa part two. When you're speaking on the second part, okay, don't rush. Okay, take your time. You have two minutes. Okay, that actually is the longest two minutes of your lives. Believe me. Yen ang isa sa mga pinakamahabang two minutes sa buhay ng tao. Okay, so stay away from that. Okay, stay away from detailing too much or detailing too fast on the exam. Okay. All right, guys. So. Before we conclude our discussion for tonight, let me just share the most important message for each and every one. You will be rewarded, okay? But as for you, be strong. Do not give up for your work will be rewarded. This is from the book of 2 Chronicles 15 verse 7. I know, mga anak, I know and I understand that at the moment, preparing for the IELTS could actually be difficult. And you get tired of preparing. You're working, and then you're preparing at the same time, and you're reviewing. And I know sometimes you're go you're going to lose your grip. I understand that. But one thing that I would want you to remember is it's written in the book, right? It's written in the Bible. Be strong. Do not give up because your work will be rewarded. Deba, your work will be rewarded. All the hard work will pay off. One day you will look back at this experience and you will remember. Hi, alam mo, five years ago I was reviewing for the exam. Tapos alam mo, I was about to give up. Deba, tapos nanood ako minsan ganon. Tapos alam mo yon, nabuhay na ako. And then now look at me. I'm here in the United States of America. If I have given up at that time, I wouldn't be the person that I am today. Neva, we would want that. At always tell yourself, let's go. Okay, always tell yourself, let's go. Who are you doing this for? Who are you doing this for? Are you just doing this for yourself, or are you just doing this for your relatives to see that you are growing? No, you're doing this for your family. You're doing this to glorify the Lord in your life. Most importantly, okay. So I want my children to have a better future, more than I could imagine for myself. Let's go. Okay, I want my parents to retire comfortably. I would want to provide for them more than they have provided for me. Let's go. I want my I want to be the breadwinner of my family, but I want the Lord to be my provider. I might be the breadwinner, but I will be the provider. Let's go. Don't give up. Okay, don't give up. Be strong. Don't give up. For your work will be rewarded. Okay, this is from the book of Second Chronicles, chapter fifteen, verse seven. Okay, so guys, let's pray for each and every one of you. I feel, I feel the presence of the Lord right now with this message. Okay, so Heavenly Father, would like to thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to glorify you and to share your words, Father. Lord, I am here. 
wholeheartedly for the people who are feeling tired and down and and exhausted with the things that they're doing in life and especially preparing for the IELTS. Lord, remind them. Remind them not to give up. Remind them not to be that person who's going to be regretting things because you, my Lord, are there for them. Lord, make this lesson Uh, make this lesson be something that they were going to be keeping in their hearts, Lord God. And one day when they look back, they will see your, your power in their lives, my Father, that everything, every hardship, every doubt, every tear, every sweat that they have undergone right now on their preparation is worth it, my Lord God. These are, and Lord, bless the admins of IFNG, Father. Always guide them because they are helping a lot of people. And Lord, thank you for the new students that you have guided towards elite intellect. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so amen guys, di ba? Mga anak, madali lang mag- mag-give up. Believe me. Madali lang mag-give up, pero ang hindi madaling gawin ay ang ilaban ang pangarap mo. Okay? Don't be don't be discouraged. Okay? Nai-emotional ako, naiiyak ako kasi ang daming mga tao ngayon na pagod na pagod na. Okay? Sa buhay nila and the things that they're doing. Mga anak, tandaan nyo, the Lord is there for you. always okay whatever it is that you're undergoing right now know that he is there for you okay so god bless each and every one of you guys all right so what a fun lecture okay so guys next week ha techniques naman tayo for the part a follow-up round and part three and guys know if you want to inquire about our elite focus program you may send a message to our facebook page the facebook page is there on the chat box and of course on the comment section of our live for tonight. Okay, if you would want to be a part of the Elite Focus group, then of course, send a message to Mom Tanya and just type IFNG Focus. Okay, so again, guys, in behalf of the staff of Elite Intellect, this is your Mala Dragon sending my love to you from the Philippines. I'll see you guys next Friday for our live here at IFNG. Thank you guys so much. And of course, Sir Manuel, back to you. I am here. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for that wonderful lecture. And I'm terribly sorry for the previous uh, interruption. Won't happen again, guys. <laughs> Carry along. Um, I miss you guys. I miss you guys so much, elite family, as well as um, including Mom, Je- Mom Genji and Sergello and whoever, who, whoever else composed uh, is, is, the mem- is the admins of Elite. I don't know if you guys have an admin also, but I love you guys so much and we hope to see you guys again. All right. See Hello, you guys next oh, Friday. Whatever. All right. Happy Friday, everyone. Mwamwa. Ang laki ng mga nga. Diba? Half ngipin nga, diba? Ayoko nga pala. All right. Okay. Bye. Bye. See you guys.